Hey guys, welcome back to World Illuminate 11. I hope you're doing well today and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel. And if it is your first time checking out the channel, then please do hit the subscribe button. You are very welcome here. If you are new to the channel, then a really warm welcome to you. Really glad to have you off on the channel. Yesterday, we had some powerful videos coming through. Messages showing that the Divine Masculines, for the Divine Masculines, is a lot going on behind the scenes. A lot has been going on behind the scenes to help them to be able to move forward on their path. A lot of healing. And, you know, do check out that video if you haven't seen it. And and then the other video was about the importance of faith and that is something that we're all being guided to really get into a place of having that faith when it comes to your journey because your faith is really also a big part when it comes to moving your journey forward you know you have to be in a place of having that faith of knowing that the creator is there for you to bring in that love that you truly desire in the right divine timing so if you haven't checked out those videos from yesterday do check them out and it was there was also a short video a message coming through from the angels when it comes to your journey that it's all going to work out beautifully so do check those out if you haven't seen them what we're going to do today we're going to bring in four decks we're going to check in to see what the divine masculine would like to say to the divine feminine and what the divine feminine would like to say to the divine masculine so let's say you were to see each other what your divine masculine so what you'd like to say to each other right now okay so we are going to bring in um the divine masculine messages tarot so thank you angels what would the divine masculine like to say to the divine feminine what would the Divine Masculine like to say to the Divine Feminine today? What would the Divine Masculine like to say to the Divine Feminine? What else? Is, that, is there anything else that the Divine Masculine would like to say? Anything else that the Divine Masculine would like to say? Okay. And then Divine Feminine messages Tarot. What would the Divine Feminine like to say to the Divine Masculine? Thank you, angels. What would the Divine Feminine like to say to the Divine Masculine? Okay. And then we're also going to bring in the Divine Feminine Messages of Love. Thank you, angels. What would the Divine Feminine like to say to the Divine Masculine today? And what would the Divine Masculine like to say to the Divine Feminine using the Divine Masculine Messages of Love? What would the Divine Masculine like to say to the Divine Feminine? Okay, so let's see what cards have come out here. So a few cards came out for the Divine Masculines. So let's have a look and see what they are saying here. Let's just turn all these round. Okay, so the first card that I'm seeing, what your Divine Masculine would, would like to say to you here. The first one is the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords really is about that pain, you know, sort of missing you their Divine Feminine. And they're saying to you, I'm finding it hard to be away from you right now, but I know that I am healing. So, you know, if your Divine Masculine was, was to see you today, that's what they would like to say to you, that they are finding it hard to be away from you right now, you know, to not be able to see you, to spend time with you. And they're saying to you, they are finding that hard, but they know that they're healing. So they realize that this time of you being apart is actually a time of them healing. And, you know, and they know that it is helping them to be able to move forward when it comes to their own journey. And for, you know, that's the message that was coming through as well yesterday, that there's a lot of healing that is happening for the divine masculine, sort of deep cellular healing to help them to be able to move forward. So your divine masculine is letting you know that they are missing you and they're finding it hard to be away from you right now, but they know that they are healing. And then the next card that has come out from them for, from them is the Page of Swords. And they're saying to you, I am not intentionally ignoring you. I'm working out what to say and how to say it. So they're also letting you know that, you know, during this time of them so healing and working on themselves, you know, they're also, it's not that they are just intentionally ignoring you. They're working out what to say. They're working out things in their own life processing things working on themselves as well but they're also when it comes to you they're also working out what to say and how to actually say to you because it's not easy for them even with the things that have happened in the past you know they are working on themselves to really get to a place where they I can find the right words to say. They don't want to mess this up again. And they want to have the right words to say and how and to know exactly how to say it as well. So that's what they also want you to know. And then they're also saying, um, the Queen of Wands, 
you are everything i could ever want so you know they're saying to you divine feminine you're the one that i am missing and you're everything that i could ever want there's nobody else for me you know that's why they're healing that's why they're working on themselves that's why they're working out the right words to say and how to actually say to you so they don't mess it up because they know that for them you're everything that they could ever want so you know that's why they need to work on themselves they need to heal themselves as well so that they can be ready and able to move forward to tell you how they feel and then the next card that has come out is the moon and they're saying to you you are my mirror i know the power is within me to release all of this fear so they are saying to you you know they realize that they have fear and things that are holding them back and you know they are realizing that you are their mirror you are helping them to grow as well you know you're helping them to see things within themselves that they need to work on and they're saying to you i know you are my mirror and they're also saying they realize and they know that the power is within them to release all the fear so the power is within them to do what they need to do for themselves to release the fear that is holding them back from moving forward towards you to really sort of then really stand in their power the more they release that fear the more they work on themselves and release that fear the more they can be able to move forward towards you so they are realizing that the power is within them to release all this fear and they're also saying to you here, the six of pentacles, I need to be able to give you everything that you give to me. So this is something that's important for your divine masculine. And they want you to know this. They want to be in a position in which they're able to give you everything that you give to them. That's on an emotional basis physically financially you know in the 3d everything they are wanting spiritually as well you know in every area of your lives they are wanting to be able to give you everything that you give to them they are wanting to be there to be able to be present to have released the fears the they, they to have healed their lives so that they can really be able to give you everything when it comes to them being available even emotionally as well so they're saying to you i need to be able to give you everything that you give to me so that's why they continue to keep working on themselves to really get to a place in which they feel that within themselves you know they've released all the fears they've released all the things that are holding them back so that's what they also want to say to you today and they are also saying to you, I am Ace of Wands. I am taking action towards you. So they're saying to you, Divine Feminine, even if you may not be seeing it right now, you know, by me working on myself, by me healing my life, by me doing the things that I'm doing for myself, I am taking action towards you. And there's a lot that they're doing in their own life that you don't even know about, you know, and they're letting you know that I am taking action towards you. So they're also wanting you to know this. And they're also saying here, seven of cups, I have choices to make, but I will always choose you. So, you know, they have choices to make in their own life. And, you know, and this is about choices that they have to make about making changes in their own life. You know, how to move forward, what to do, you know, and change things even in their own 3D world, walk away from certain situations. They are saying to, the, you, to you here, I have choices to make and I will always choose you. And that means that in everything that they're doing for their life they are choosing a path that will lead them to you their divine feminine even if you may not be seeing this yet they're saying to you you know even in their plans they're making certain choices that will involve choosing you so they're saying you are the one that they will always always choose and that's what they're doing in, in, in that's what they're doing is the message that's coming through the next card that came out is the nine of cups and they're saying to you, you are the reason all of my dreams are coming true. So for them, it's all that you are their only focus. You're the one that they want to be with. You know, they are saying you are the reason all of their dreams are coming true. So everything that they're working towards is to be with you. They're taking action towards you. They know that with you, they'll have all the things that they truly desire. So they're saying to you, you are the reason all of my dreams are, are coming true. And they're also saying the King of Cups, I want to give you my heart. You know, so they're also working on opening up their heart so that they can give their heart to you in everything that they do and be able to give their heart fully to you as well. That means changing certain things in 
in their own life so that they can be able to move forward towards you so they're saying to you king of cups you know they their heart is with you they you are the one that they're always thinking about and they're saying i want to give you my heart move forward and tell you exactly how they feel and they're also saying to you here the page of ones i have some good news that i would like to share with you so they know that they want this life with you they want to share with you of the love that they have for you and they're saying to you i have some good news that i want to share with you this can also be certain things that are happening in their life that you don't really know about so you know certain things that they've managed to achieve even in their own life and they're saying to you i have some good news i want to share with you but the main news is the fact that they have all this love for you even if they may have denied it before they're saying to you i have some good news i have all this love for you and i want to share this with you and they're also saying to you here the temperance card has also come out i must do things at my own pace because this is how i will follow through on my plans so they're asking you to be patient and, you know, and they're also finding that patience within themselves and doing things at their own pace, because that is how they can follow through on their plans. All those plans that include you in them, that the things that they're working on, the choices that they're making you know, taking action towards you, but they have to do it at their own pace, you know, without feeling rushed, without any sort of pressure or, you know, things like that. But, you know, in their own time, in the way that they need to do it for themselves, whilst also working on their own healing as well, to get to the place at which they are ready to tell you that good use that they have for you. So they're saying, I must do things at my own pace, because that is how I'll follow through on my plans. So they are moving forward towards you and they are wanting you to know this. And the last card that came out is the world. And they're saying to you, a new chapter is about to begin for me. We hold the world in our hands. So they're letting you know that there is change happening with them. You know, they're making choices that are leading them to you because you're the one that they want to be with. You're the one who makes their dreams come true. So they're saying to you, a new chapter is about to begin for me. And this also came out in the reading that I did, that there is there are changes that are happening and the divine masculine are moving forward to the next chapter of their life i think it was a reading that i did on friday so you know you're being shown here by your divine masculine this is what they would like to say to you you know today if they if they saw you that there is a new chapter that is about to begin for me and that chapter includes you that's the good news that they want to tell you as well and they're saying to you you and them you hold the world in your hands in in in, uh, in your hands yeah both of you so they are moving forward towards you and they are wanting you to know this they're taking action you know they are missing you and they're doing what they need to do in their own life so that they can be with you. So what are you wanting to say to your Divine Masculine if you were to see them today? So let's turn these round and see what messages have come out here. So you as the Divine Feminine. So the first card that you have here is um, the Six of Swords. And you're saying, I am moving into easier times. I feel peaceful and calm. So this is powerful. You know, you would like to say to your divine masculine as well, you're moving into easier times within yourself, you, in, within yourself. You're really finding, you know, your own inner peace. You're working on yourself. You're growing within yourself. And, you know, and you are understanding that you have the, the whole of heaven by your side helping you on this journey. And you are finding more peace and feeling more calm. So that's what you would like to let your divine masculine know today as well. And then the Ten of Swords has also come up. You're saying rising up, nothing can keep me down. So you're also showing your divine masculine that you have that power within you as a divine feminine, that you are rising up. And this is in your own life, in things that you may be working on for yourself. You know, you're not letting anything keep you down. You are moving forward when it comes to your own life. And you are wanting your divine masculine to know this, that you are just rising and going, continuing to keep moving forward. And then the next card that came out is the Eight of Swords. So a few swords have come out here. I am breaking free of limitations. I am the master of my mind. So you're letting your divine masculine know, or you want to let them know as well, that you're breaking free of all the limitations, the things that have held you back. You know, limiting beliefs, the fears that have held you back. You know, you are working on yourself as well. And you are becoming the master of your mind, observing yourself, seeing what is going on with you to help yourself to be able to work on those things as well. And, you know, release the negative thoughts, release the negative emotions. And you are saying, I am the master of my mind. 
So this is more about you really stepping more into your power as well. And then the next card that you are, that you have is the four of pentacles. And you're saying, I'm afraid to let go, but I'm learning how to trust the journey. So, you know, you're also being open to your divine masculine saying, you are afraid to let go. You know, you're afraid to let go because of the way that things you had been taught, you know, that fear that maybe if you let go, then, you know, you never see your divine masculine again, but you are learning to trust the journey. This is all part of your process of growing. You're realizing that it is about you surrendering. It is about you letting go. It is about you trusting in the universe, the creator to help you to release all those fears and start being more in flow with the universe and surrendering. So you are learning to how to trust the journey. So this is about your own growth as a divine feminine the next card that came out is the queen of pentacles and you're saying i am strong independent and self-assured so i really feel here for your, your divine masculine you want to let your divine masculine know that you are growing within yourself you're becoming stronger and more independent as well and really stepping more into your power as a divine feminine self-assured so you are showing your divine masculine here that you are moving forward on your own journey as well the next one is the queen of swords and you're saying i am resilient and i know what i want so you are in your power you're saying i am resilient i know what i want when things knock me down i get up and i keep moving forward in my power as a divine feminine i know i want to be with you i know i want this love and i am moving forward with this and then the last card that came out is the three of pentacles and you're saying i am working with the universe to create my dreams so really, really powerful. You're saying to your divine masculine, you're working with the universe. You know that it is you and the creator helping you to be able to bring in that love that you desire with your divine masculine and all the things that you are wanting for your life as well. So you're letting your divine masculine know that you are in your power. You are independent. You are strong. And you know, you have that backing of the universe to help you to bring in this love as well and all the other things that you desire. So so you're really showing your divine or wanting to say to your divine masculine that you are in in your power as a divine feminine okay beautiful messages coming through and then the cards that came out from your divine masculine as well so they are saying to you nobody compares to you so for them, there's no one else for you, for them. You know, even if they may be in a relationship, they're saying to you, divine feminine, you know, nobody else compares to you. You are the only one for me. So they're working on getting away from whatever it is that is still holding them back. The fears, you know, the karmic situation, the things that they're still working through so that they can be with you because nobody compares to you. And they're also saying, you are my future. So they're saying, Divine Feminine, you are my future because there's nobody else for me apart from you. And they're also saying, I see you everywhere. So they're seeing signs about you, messages about you, being reminded by the universe, you know, uh, that you are the one that is there for them. And they're also saying, we are divine magnets. So they know that there is that beautiful, strong, powerful connection that, you know, from the, from the fact that you are a, a divine counterparts, you know, they're saying, we are divine magnets magnets will always be drawn together so they're saying that to you as well and they're saying to you divine feminine don't give up on me you know it may be taking me time to work on myself and do the healing and release all these fears but i am doing it i am moving forward towards you i'm taking action towards you so they're saying to you that's what they would like to say to you today you know, no matter how long it's been, don't give up on me because I am doing what I need to do. And you are my future. You're the only one that I truly want to be with. So they're saying to you, don't give up on me. And they're also saying, I will come forward to you in time. So this is about them coming forward in the right divine timing. They are working on this and they want you to know this by doing what they need to do for themselves, going through all the healing and everything going on in their own life. They are saying to you, I will come forward to you in time because you are my future. You are the one that I want to be with. And then you're also saying to you, to your divine masculine, I see signs about you constantly. So this is really powerful. You know, your divine masculine is saying to you here, I see you everywhere. And you're saying to your divine masculine, I see signs about you constantly. So you're both constantly being reminded of each other by the universe. That's the power of the universe showing you that you two are meant to be together. So they're seeing you everywhere. You're seeing signs about them constantly. 
and you're also saying to your divine masculine i know that you love me so you know you're saying to your divine masculine because your messages were really about you being more in power and your divine masculine was letting you know of the love that they have for you you know that they are missing you but they know they need to heal you know and the love that that you know you are their future and you're saying i know that you love me so, you know, you're understanding that your divine masculine loves you and you are also wanting to say that to them. And you're saying, I know that you love me and I am here. I love you. So really powerful. You know, you're also coming back to your divine masculine saying, I know you love me and I am here. I love you. So you're also letting your divine masculine, you're wanting to let them know if you saw them today that I am here and I love you, you know, and you are understanding that they need to go through all these things to heal them, their own life so that they can be ready to be with you and you're saying i am here and i love you they're saying don't give up on me divine feminine and you're saying i am here and i love you really beautiful messages and the last card that also came out for you uh is i love you so you know in the other cards you were talking about how you are in power and moving forward on your journey which is helping you to really become stronger as well as a divine feminine but now you're really also showing your divine masculine you're wanting to let them know of the love that you have for them you're saying i am here and i love you you know i'm not giving up I, as they say don't give up on me you're saying no i am here and i love you and again you're saying i love you so really beautiful messages about the conversation that you'd like to have with each other if you were to see each other today i hope you have a great day guys i'll see you on the next video love peace positivity and light